Hello, my name is Ed Payne, and I'm going to be talking about the Philadelphia Phillies' slow start to the season. Uh, so basically, I'm going to go over their struggles so far and how they got to the record that they have right now. I'm going to then go into how the Phillies can pick it up for the rest of the season and then what they need to do to contend for the rest of the season. So to start it off, I'm going to talk about why are the Phillies uh, starting slow. Ultimately, the pitchers aren't good enough outside of... Uh, Kyle Gibson. Kyle Gibson has had uh, a few good starts to start the season, which has been better than most Philly starting pitchers currently. Uh, Zach Wheeler has been injured for some of the season, so he's playing like an injured player. Um, Aaron Nola hasn't lived up to the expectation that he's had since his Cy Young year a few years back. So ultimately, Aaron Nola needs to get better. Uh, the bats haven't been moving. Um, ultimately, the top of the lineup. Outside of Alec Bohm and Nick Castellanos, the bats for the Phillies haven't been tremendous, especially from players like Bryce Harper, Kyle Schwarber, Reese Hoskins, Gene Segura, and uh, Didi Segura, I meant Didi Gregorius. So outside of uh, Johan Camargo, Alec Bohm, and um, and Nick Castellanos, the Phillies really need to, to, to get their bats together to ultimately contend for the rest of the season. Um, the next thing... And reason that the Phillies are starting is because, or Phillies are starting slow, is because of Mickey Moniak's injury. Mickey Moniak had a tremendous uh, spring training, and the hopes for him to relive the expectations that of the first round pick that he was, um, were high coming into the season until he got injured with the last the the last game of the spring training. Um, so ultimately. Mickey Moniak's injury has had a big part in the Phillies not being able to find a center fielder. And the center fielder that they've had had, it's either been Simon Muziati, which is really defensive and he's not really a great hitter. And Matt Vierling hasn't been able to hit this season. So that's one of their reasons on why they're starting slow. The other is uh, Joe Girardi's inability to coach at a high level, especially with the, the long starts of the season because they had so many games in a row. The, the lineup was changing every day. And they never could really get into a, a groove as a team and haven't really put together great at bats and have been look really disoriented at the plate. The other thing is the bullpen struggles continue year after year. And uh, Corey uh, Nebel is, has been injured the start of the season because he's been on the COVID uh, list. But the problem is we, most fans didn't even know Corey Nebel uh, was on the team still considering he had two two games to play this year, and he's supposed to be the, the number one closer. So the Phillies haven't even been really in close. I meant to have, like, their closer in great situations to save the game because uh, they can't, they haven't been able to hit and get put up runs to put them in a position to win the game. So the next question I was going to go into is, uh, can the Phillies pick it up? The Phillies absolutely can pick it up. They need their, their top players and their top hitters to – to continue to produce, I mean, continue to produce every day at a high level, which they've been able to do in the past. Uh, starting with Bryce Harper going back to his MVP level. Um, we also need Schwarber, Gene Segura, and Hoskins to play more consistently and and pick up their their at bats, especially Schwarber because you paid him a lot of money and he hasn't really lived up to the expectation to this point. Um, going forward, you also need you need the bullpen to not blow as many saves as last year, which seems like an easy task with considering how bad they were last year, but you never know with the Phillies and how they run their their, uh, their bullpen. Also, the pitching needs to get healthier, which should happen throughout the season slowly uh, through Zach Wheeler getting better. Hopefully, Aaron Ola gets better. Ranger Suarez picking it up because he had a late start to spring training uh, considering his visa issues. So, ultimately, the pitching needs to come together, and the, the, the lineup needs to produce runs and put position and put the Phillies pitchers in a position to win because, ultimately, the stress of not having runs and, and get taken out of games earlier it has been hurting the Phillies up until this point because they haven't had quality starts for pitchers. So, ultimately, if they can really string, the, string together hits and, and long innings or shorter innings for the pitchers to pitch and get them into the game later – um, that really was going to help them pick it up uh, for the next stretch of games. So going into the next question, I was going to say, what do the Phillies need to do to contend? While it's hard to imagine, I think the Phillies need to trade Alec Bone while his trade value is high. He hasn't been a great defensive player, which you need him to be because you already have a first baseman in Reese Hoskins. You already have a DH in Nick Castellanos or Kyle Schwarber or any other Phillies at, uh, or any other 
Philly at this point in time. But Alec Bowman is hitting over 500 right now, and he's not a great defensive player. So maybe trading him to a team that could use him as a first baseman or a DH could be uh, really beneficial for the team going forward. And also, you're, you're, you might be able to get a, a higher valued player than you would have a few months ago when he wasn't hitting that great. So ultimately, I think trading Alec Bowman wise, wise uh, trade value is higher than, than usual will help the, the Phillies right now and can put them in another position to win. Whether that's trading for uh, or putting him in a package to trade for a pitcher that that can pitch like like a two or three starter, because we also don't know how how much uh, more value Aaron Nola can create as a number two starting pitcher. Um, while Kyle Gibson has been good and Zach Wheeler should take over the reins as the ace going forward, like he has been last year, I think the Phillies need another two to three starter starting pitcher to really uh, cement the, the starting pitch in rotation and actually put the Phillies in a bigger position to win. And then also I think they need another bench bat, uh, maybe a center fielder. Uh, it depends with how Moniak plays when he comes back. But a bench bat like Brad Miller, even though he's on the Rangers, but like the impact he had last year was so big. And while Johan Camargo has been good up until this point, I think the Phillies still need another bench bat, especially if, Alec Boom gets traded, hopefully. And then uh, for center fielders, I had Cedric Mullins and Brian Reynolds because they're two of the best in the business. And while it's going to be hard and unlikely to get them, it would really, really, really help the team and uh, can really get them more consistent hitting and great defensive players on the field. Thank you.